Yeah, I think, like, in principle, it sounds great. Uh huh. Uh, and yet, uh, I'm, 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 what I want to know is, okay, well, how do I implement this in practice? Okay. You know, and actually do Very it. slowly. Yeah. Very slowly. And, and, and uh, yes. the thing is, like, you know, I know that we shouldn't just come around. I was going to yes. that. But um, sometimes you feel like you're not moving at all. It's uh -huh. so differentiated. Oh, like, sure. So, like, I just need something efficient. Like, yeah. Most yeah. Of Efficiency is really crucial. Um, and, and you have to decide how you can deliver that. I'll give you one quick example, which I think helps a little bit. It's really more about note-taking. Uh, there was a year early on in my educational experience where I was teaching a history class. And uh, it happened to be a Jewish history class, and the content spanned 2,000 years. Now, 2,000 years of any nation's history is a lot, okay? Especially when you have, you know, somewhat the more complex history that the Jewish people have experienced for 2,000 years in a variety of ways. And so I had this challenge, how do I cover and also go deeper? And my first year was a disaster. I think I taught it well, but it was just a lot of notes. And I, what I did was to make it a little easier for myself. First I started writing everything on the board. Disaster. My arm was falling off after five minutes. Then I put it onto Microsoft Word in sort of an outline form put it up on back in the day when transparencies were still used, would Xerox them onto transparencies, put them on the board. At least the kids' arms would fall off, but my arm was, was safe and secure, okay? But the year still didn't produce what I wanted. Year two, between year one and year two, I was pursuing a master's degree, so I had a lot of time in the classroom and a laptop, and of course I was paying attention clearly to everything we were learning, but I still had some other time. So I converted everything to PowerPoint. So I not only was able to integrate pictures and other visual components that would help the students, but it allowed me to take out the main ideas, drop them into the PowerPoint, leave the details off, and then I printed everything. You might be familiar with PowerPoint. You can print three slides to a page, and then you have the lines. So now the note-taking became a reduced burden for everybody because the core information was there. The lines were just there for the supplementary note-taking, and then we went a lot deeper. And I was engaging them on a variety of things. I never would have been able to do if they would have been engaged simply in the arduous task of taking notes. I know it's not only about notating, but sometimes we can get creative with how we deliver the information, and this way we have more time. For example, if you use a flip classroom method, if you have the right material by which to do so, every now and again you can have the students watch a video, and in those 5, 10, 15 minutes deliver the core content, and then the next day you have the freedom to do your thing, work your magic.